YouTube, it is I, Juniper Bloom Mystique, and I'm going to bring you some Ascension Path guidance. I'm really curious to see what's going on with the Ascension right now, with all these energetic shifts and my twin flame having a huge part in that, um, and the way it's been affecting me the last couple days, and all of a sudden now I'm feeling so much love rising for him. And so I'm curious, what is going on with our Ascension? Um, and again, it's I, Juniper Blue Mystique. I am an Ascension Master, Master Healer, and a Divine Guide. I am the one who brought about the Ascension for the collective whole, for the Earth. I changed the Earth in multiple ways, activated pyramids. All of this can be found on my channel and in the playlist. So I do hope you spend some time poking around on all my videos and see what's up and what's going on and what's around if you're new here. Um, and if you're joining me again, I love you always, already so, okay? Um, and please feel free to stick around and become part of my family if you find something you'd like. My goal is to wake everybody up, give them all new modalities, teach them how to access this new earth and how to um, align their energies within the new earth and so much more. So um, if you join this channel, we're going to have a lot of growing to do together and I can't wait. All right, so let's tune in and see what's going on with the Ascension Guidance. I'm still very much so exhausted because I've been attacked so badly. Um, so I'm going to do my best in this one. And I keep trying to sleep, but it's like after being attacked so bad, I thought I would be completely exhausted. I'm exhausted, but I feel energized. It's really strange. I feel energized, and I can, I'm just starting to think about him so much. There's been a huge shift, okay? Oh, we're shifting timelines. That is definitely happening. Okay, that's what I'm hearing for the Ascension. We are shifting timelines. That is definitely happening. I mean, I knew that because when I did the activation in the throat, that's what we did. Every time I do that with Christ Light activations or with anything, we go into a new timeline. So that's not surprising. But with this timeline, we're starting to separate from any darkness. So if you have shadows inside of you, if you have anything like that, you're going to feel it. All right, um, and that is kind of why there's like an energetic attack going on right now too, is because the, I've got to say it, the divine masculines are making a move. That's what they're telling me. I kind of thought so. I hope so. I love him so much. So that's a positive, okay? So it's a really, really tough shift because it's been delayed. Um, and so you're just gonna feel this one big time. You're gonna have a lot of physical symptoms, emotional symptoms, spiritual symptoms. Okay, that's what's going on in our ascension path right now. Um, what they're telling me is there are previous plans um, by the darkness that are not, they're noticing now, are being blocked. And so there is like a stir in the dark energy. Okay, that's the best thing I can tell for you. It's like they had big plans to do certain things. Not the good people, okay. Um, and the plans, what they had, don't really matter. Yeah, it was kind of like take over the world in bigger ways kind of a thing. None good, um, but they have been blocked and they're seeing that now. How far the blockage has gone and how much they're being removed from this earth. So there is a little bit of an uproar. That's the best thing I can say. There's a little bit of an uproar going on right now within the darkness of this earth. And it's like an attack. It is like a little bit of an attack because of the divine masculine making his move. That's what they're saying. Um, it's causing an attack, but it's a good thing, and it's all right, okay? It's it's surface more than anything, so do your due diligence to cleanse yourself, raise your vibration. Make sure you're focusing on your foundation, okay? Your spiritual foundation is what I'm hearing here the most, is the most important right now in the ascension. Your spiritual foundation is the most important right now in the ascension. Because this is like, heaven and hell time. I mean, that's the way you can kind of look at it. We are dividing the lines between light and dark, okay? Um, and we've got material harvest, but this one truly talks about um, almost like it is time for a material harvest to come your way, but it's like a different kind. So we need to let go again of what doesn't serve us, okay? And this has to do within your foundation. So right now on some level, we've got parts of our foundation that are kind of like um, falling, okay? And then we've got the new material harvest coming its way. So this is a material harvest built out of light and all the other stuff that is on the false foundation are falling. Okay, and you're gonna see it more and more. 
This one talks about with these energies right now, it's super important to not get discontent and bored. Okay, We can almost be in a little bit of a void right now. So within the collective whole, we are in a void Okay, because we're switching timelines. And so when we do that, we go into a space where nothing seems like it's happening and we can get bored. But what this means is if you're closing off your heart, if you're not paying attention to your spiritual connections, or if you're bored and thinking nothing's ever going to come my way, you're going to miss this beautiful thing that's coming like the next day. Okay, so all these beautiful colors and the beautiful light behind him, he's not seeing it because he's off going do to do on board. And so he's missing what is right in front of him. Okay, so be mindful of that in these times. It may seem like this crazy things like it's this, it's this weird void within the shift but then immediately like stay awake stay aware okay because there's big movements here and there's big changes coming and that's what I'm hearing but within those changes you must make sure you have a firm spiritual foundation all right because it's a different material harvest so one is falling out and a new one's coming in and my friends death and rebirth this is the death card of the regular tarot transformation it's a but I like the way they say transformation better because when people hear death they're like oh my god we're gonna die you are dying every single one of you are dying right now you are dying and being reborn you're dying and being reborn into the new earth or you will be leaving this earth the darkness cannot stay here anymore and my friends they're starting to see that and the DM is making a move and it caused a stir and that's why I got attacked and if you have any shadow pieces or anything that you didn't heal, you're going to feel that attack. And that's what Spirit's telling me. Okay? So super important. I really like this message, actually, because I wasn't sure. I'm like, this feels good. Like, I was being attacked so bad, and then all of a sudden I can see outside the box, and I'm like, this is an attack. This is stupid. And I love him so much. And then now this love is rising, but I still feel the attack. So he's being attacked still. He's still trying to navigate out of the false world, and he's doing it for the people. And that's what I'm hearing, and I feel like, and not, and not just, and I have to say, honestly, I feel this from my twin flame, not just for the people, because he loves me too, and that's what I hear. Now, I could be crazy in this message, it's what's coming through. I didn't expect it to, but I've told you he's a very important part of the ascension, so it's not surprising to me that he's coming through in the ascension, but it's also what's causing a massive shift. So Spirit's been waiting on my DM to make that move because he's the light. He's a big, beautiful piece of God. He cannot go that way. It's, we're not wanting him to, and he doesn't want to in his heart. So it's been like almost like, like almost like they've been holding off on certain timelines, and we're feeling a big shift because of it, and it's a good thing, but it's it feels heavy. And so it's super important to stay out of your mind, okay? Stay out of your mind. Don't let things overcome you. Um, do your due diligence to stay grounded to the earth, drink lots of water, and replace any negative feelings or thoughts with light and positivity, okay? Because what I see is the darkness is being forced out further, okay? That's true. The ascension, my friends, is not just about awakening. It's about, I've changed the earth. So I remember a couple years ago, one of the first messages Spirit put through me is, as above, so below. I had no idea I was bringing everything I had brought through at that time, but it's very true. I brought heaven to earth. We are now on God's earth, okay? And it's going to be bigger, more beautiful, light-filled planet. Does that mean we're never going to have good things or be able to enjoy indulgences? No. We are allowed to experience all that life has to give and all that this earth has to give, but it'll be all in the light. We won't be being attacked anymore, my friends, and they know that now. And they're knowing it right now even more because of my DM. So congratulations to him. He is affecting the collective whole in a positive way. And I'm hearing he may avoid his, his tower moment. I just got chills. Oh, my God. <laughs> Good for him. I'm so proud of him. Oh, I love him so much. Good for him. Avoid that tower moment, baby. Put it in its place. Let's do this. So this is Ascension Path Guidance. This is what's coming through, and I'm blown away. Um, so let's see what else they're saying. Um, something about the looking glass. So hang on. Metatron is coming through about this looking glass. So we need to avoid paying attention to everything that's being put out there. For some reason, I feel like the darkness kind of got through a little bit in some areas. 
Um, and so some things are coming through as just a ways to grab attention. They're saying some things are um, part of the plans of the darkness that are being blocked. So they're being blocked and that's what's pissing them off, okay? And then with my DM making a move, it's really starting to lose their last little grip and it's a good thing, it's not a bad thing. Because I also have to tell you that the people my twin flame was keeping down are also going to start rising like immediately. It's going to be very quick. So his family, his ancestors, all of those people, he's not going to be alone. That's what Spirit's actually saying. It's a beautiful shift. And he's about to avoid the tower moment. Because if you fix what you're doing like right away and you're given a tower moment warning, the tower moment will go away. When you're given a warning for a tower moment, you can actually avoid it. And he's doing so is what they're saying as long as he keeps going this way. And that is what I'm feeling. And the whole collective whole is feeling it. However, if you have shadow pieces and you've avoided healing this whole time and things like that for the ascension, you're going to feel this worse than anybody else. I feel it worse because of my twin flame is being attacked. And so therefore I get attacked right along with him. Because he's beautiful. And he is... He is helping the collective whole, but you guys are saying he's doing it out of love for me as well, okay? So I just want to say thank you. I fucking love you. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, so the energy is also at play as you must watch your thoughts because it's all a part of the collective whole, okay? And this is what I'm talking about. It's like the darkness is being um, furthermore pushed out. That timeline shift is occurring because of my divine masculine. So it was almost like it was put on hold, and now that he's making his right move, and it is actually anchored in um, pretty good right now, so I don't think he can go backwards too far, and so that's why we are actually getting to move further into a timeline, and it's a big shift. So it's almost one that they've been holding off on. So we're going to get out of the redo timeline, is what they're saying, okay, and we're going to be going into the new um, new energies of, of God's, God's light. And so I'm really excited, okay? But right now, it's very important that we might be attacked. We might we have to keep our thoughts positive because we're affecting the collective whole, okay? Super important. This one I'm also hearing meditate, okay? Meditate and keep your vibration high. It's very, very, very important because we're all affecting each other. And in order to allow what needs to fall away to fall away, we've got to use the strength of the community whole, okay? And so dances on one foot is all about a balancing act. All right, and, and also I'm hearing within transitional energies and going into the new, we gotta remain in balance. Lots of nines here tells me that there's endings and new beginnings. That's also with the transformation card, okay? So things are coming to an end right now and new beginnings are being implemented. I'm so happy. I still hurt in my tummy, but I feel like it's just because he's being, he's not having an easy time getting out of it, you guys, he's not. And I just want to protect him. If he needs my help, I'd be there for him. And so keep that in mind. You might be feeling that because he is anchoring in the light. And that's what they're telling me. He's a badass dude. And he can do it. I'm very proud of him. So here we are again. Deep, quiet meditation and stillness is super important to raise our vibration. Violet flame, raise our vibration. Deep, quiet meditation. Maybe I will do a guided meditation this weekend. Give me a day or so and I can up my vibration and I will do a guided meditation. Probably with some more violet flames or something to help. Ooh, we'll do Archangel Raguel in his, in his bubbles of colors that he likes to bring forth for me. I've done one of those on my channel before, a guided meditation, but I'll do another one. And you guys, if you're new here or even returning, Use those meditations more than once. They do things for you differently every time. All right, so it is super important to keep our vibration high, okay? Because that's how we're ascending, my friends. You have to go into the higher vibration by being of the higher vibration. Watch your thought space. We're going through trance, and that's why they keep pointing at me too. It's like, get your vibration up, and because mine took a hit. And I'm gonna do that, and that will help my twin flame too, they're saying. So I'm gonna do that right away. I will help him any way I can, okay? Keep your thoughts positive. These are endings and new beginnings. We're in between worlds. We're in a void. Do not get bored because quickly you could see things coming your way. Okay? It's all about a firm foundation. Whatever is not on the firm foundation of God's light will fall. And it's beginning to now. And this is truly about light into the wall and the obstacles. So what I'm hearing here is there's actually walls coming down in the divine masculine realm. Okay? So six and five go to eleven. 
So that's what I'm hearing here. I'm not, you, I don't usually hear this in this card, but I feel like the wall is falling down. So my DM's wall is falling down. There's more light rising, okay? And the obstacles that were built are being removed as we speak. Congratulations. I love him so much. So on his behalf, I'm gonna pull some masculine cards. Thank you, and thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. They're like, he's helping the collective whole, but then it reminded me, hey, he's doing it because he loves you too. And I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> That's good to hear. <laughs> I will take that. I will take that. I will take that. I will take that. But I, I had to go through the battle, and the battle is not over because he's not at my door. <laughs> so send a lot of the DMs some protective light, you guys, and lots of love. I'm going to do it, but I think... They can use all the love in the world because I have an overwhelming feeling to provide mine with heaven. I just want to give them heaven. Oh, it's a good feeling, let me tell you. And this is a part of the ascension, okay? I can't reiterate that enough. I know there's times where I don't shut up about my twin flame, but he's my other half. He's just as important to you all. And I love him and I miss him. All right, so let's see what the masculine energy is. So it's a, okay, so the imbalance is starting to be corrected, and that's what we're feeling. It's like the scales were tipped so far off that as it's starting to move, it's going to make us all feel sick. Granted, I've been attacked, but everybody's going to feel this to a certain degree. So physical symptoms, um, dizziness, headaches, a lot of that kind of stuff, loss of ap appetite. Oh, look at you guys. A new romantic cycle begins, but with that, because of what I said, is that he's having a really hard time. He is somewhat in danger, but you guys, if my DM is listening to me, they're telling you you're protected. So please believe that. And if you'd like, I can put a bubble of light around you. Just ask and I will do so because we are connected and we've been wanting to. Um, so DM, we've got you and we love you. But with that, emotions are running high all over the collective emotions are running high new romantic cycle begins so we're shifting into the new beginnings just like I said but emotions are running high because those walls of vulnerability are coming down and so it's super important to balance that out in order to balance card with high vibrational tides do everything in high vibration right now positive 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 and my friends true prosperity lies ahead new moon in Taurus. It's like an end to some stubborn energy is what I'm hearing here. Selfish and stubborn, they said. An end to selfish and stubborn energy. I didn't expect that in that card, but that is what came through. Okay, It is an end to selfish energy and stubborn energy. Selfish and stubborn energy. And it is about the break free of the true foundation and but emotions are running high. It's like there's fear, there's vulnerability. And I'm feeling that too. That's part of what I'm also feeling today. And so as much love as we can send into the balance of the collective whole, as much as we can raise our vibrations, you guys, we're gonna help this transitional phase. Remain in balance, keep your vibration high. Do not get bored and think that nothing's happening because we're only in a momentary void to this one again a new romantic cycle begins okay new love flow new love light new life into love that's what i'm hearing and i wasn't going to do a divine feminine because i feel like the masculine is finally rising and they deserve this okay and so i don't really want to clout it over with divine energy right now i don't but they do want me to pull one divine energy oracle card oh okay two fell out that's what they want Okay, so make no judgments. Make no judgments on self or others, please. Make no judgments on my DM. I love him more than anything, and if he's rising for the collective, you guys, he's doing a big deal. He's he's taken a huge jump for the collective whole. So make no judgments on anybody or ourselves, okay? Make no judgments. This also matters, so I'm going to tell you about mine to make no judgment story, okay? When the, the, with this twin flame thing, every now and then I would go into a place of, he doesn't love me, he's cheating on me. Those are judgments. 
and they're not true. He may have cheated, but he's also having a really hard time. Okay, but let's make no judgments. That's neither here nor there. I don't know that he did. It's just my example. Okay, um, he may not have. I don't know. I'm just saying, make no judgments. That's what that means. Okay, make no judgments on your neighbors, on your loved ones, or on yourself right now. And we must accept disappointments gracefully. Um, and what I'm hearing right now is on self. Like, we, we can come into truths right now. We are going to be coming into more and more truths. I don't know about you, but I'm seeing them more and more. Different things are coming out in the collective whole, too. It's like, holy shit, majority, right? Um, okay, why is make no judgments clear and accept disappointments is fuzzy? <laughs> I need a new camera yo <laughs> I think it's just because of the color anyway anyway okay accept disappointments gracefully it's like I can look at this and go the twin flame thing didn't happen the way I wanted to it's tainted it's no good that's not true accept the disappointments gracefully is another way and another avenue to spend more light and love into them and to make them right in every way that you can Okay. Disappointments are just opportunities to give more love in the right places. Are they truly disappointments or was it lessons that we needed to learn? And was it the universe kind of changing our world on purpose for a good reason? Okay. So accept them gracefully. Know that we all make mistakes. Know that we all do things that we may not like. Make no judgments because you don't know why you made them in that moment. You may have made them out of everything that you had and technically speaking, that's not a mistake, is it? So please accept disappointments gracefully. Make no judgments, okay? True prosperity lies ahead because there's an ending to stubborn and selfish energies right now. And that affects the collective whole. So, um, again, make no judgments, right? You are being reborn. There is death and rebirth happening right now, okay? This is the ascension path, this is what we're going. Um, whatever they talk about within Plans of the Darkness, it doesn't really matter because they're not going to get to come through, especially now that my DM is anchoring in to the light. He is. That's what they're telling me. He's anchoring into the light. So I'm very proud of him because it's not easy. I don't think any of you have ever been on his journey or been in his shoes, and I just... I'm proud of him. Okay? And so do that for yourself, too. Accept disappointments gracefully. Make no judgments on self or others. Okay? That's where true prosperity comes in. Do your focus and your best to watch your thought processes because you're affecting the collective whole. And there's death and rebirth going on here. And so we're in a little bit of a void. And do your best not to get complacent in that moment. Pay attention because there's movements continual going on. We've got um, false prosperity and... Um, material harvest falling away from the false foundation and the real true prosperity lies ahead okay new love cycle begins true love so much love to all of you i'm so happy i was able to do this message yay let's get into this let's do this right till next time it was 23 22 have a great rest of your day